Hi, this is Ollie from Odd Sound, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how to set up adaptive tuning in MTS ESP Master using the transpose macro, and in particular, the changes that we made to it in version 1.04. I made another video about the transpose macro and the new changes and how to set it all up. So if you haven't watched that, you may want to go and check that one out first. The link is below in the comments. This video is intended to be more of a how-to than a lengthy video on tuning theory. So I'm going to assume some tuning knowledge here, in particular that you know what just intonation is and what the pitfalls of working with it are, in particular tonic drift. Um, I'm going to assume that you know what tempering is and how it gets around this problem of tonic drift. Um, if these are unfamiliar concepts, then I have linked in the comments below to a video on the 12-tone channel, which serves as a really nice introduction. So the problem with tempering is that we accept a fixed detuning of all the just intonation intervals, and we never get to hear or play them. Um, so if we did want to hear or play them, we could use a just intonation scale, but when we modulate, we can modulate by tempered intervals, and this gives us adaptive just intonation. The problem with this is that if we modulate from one chord to the next, and those two chords have a note in common, that note may shift in pitch when we modulate. I can show an example of this by playing a just C major chord, and then a just E flat major chord modulating for E flat. These chords have the G in common, and when I play just the G and modulate, you'll hear that it shifts in pitch. This shift in pitch may be acceptable, that's up to you to decide. But if it's not acceptable, then we do have the option of slightly tempering the just scale. So this will reduce the difference in pitch when you modulate between chords, but it will introduce a little bit of detuning into our just intervals. So um, let's half temper the scale, roughly half temper it. We can now, if, if I play the G, we can now hear that the pitch difference is slightly less. But when I play a major chord, you can hear some detuning compared to the just version, but it's not as bad as the fully tempered version. So what I'm doing here is I'm varying the amount of tempering in real time, and we can do this with MTS ESP Master. So let's have a look at how we can set that up. So if you want to follow along with this video, you can get the exact settings that I'm using from the preset menu. Under the odd sound folder, it's the adaptive JI C0 to B0 preset. Um, in this example, I'm going to use 12 tet as the scale that we want to justify because it provides familiarity to everyone that works with 12 tet. And there have been a few questions to us in, along the lines of how can I get 12 tet more in tune? This is how. So at the top of the scale list, we can see we've got 12 tet scale loaded there and it's set as the active scale. And then below it are some just intonation versions of 12 tet. On the macro page, we can see two macros loaded. The first is a scale morph macro, and this is mapped to the mod wheel. And this will control the amount of tempering with fully tempered at the bottom and just intonation at maximum. The second macro is our transpose macro. And this has been set up in exactly the same way that I described in the video on the transpose macro. That is that the lowest octave on my keyboard has been set to control the transpose amount. In the setup page, I have set filter control notes to on so that these notes don't trigger the internal synth um, and they don't trigger any connected MTS ESP clients either. You may need to adjust the note range to suit your keyboard or setup. And you can do this from the MIDI menu here with the key range start and key range end options. So as we saw in the video on the transpose macro, 
this modulate mode that we have selected here allows you to modulate to different keys with non-equal scales. And you have this adaptive tuning setting, uh, which determines which intervals it will modulate by. So if adaptive tuning is turned off, then MTS ESP Master will modulate by the scale intervals, including any adjustments to the intervals as a result of macros above the transposed macro in the list. And we can see adjustments to the scale intervals in the right-hand column of the tuning table here. If adaptive tuning is turned on, then MTS ESP Master will modulate by the original scale intervals, ignoring any adjustments made by the macros. So in our example here, of course, we have adaptive tuning set to on. And that means that if we put a macro above the transpose macro that moves the tempered 12 to intervals towards nearby just intervals, then when we modulate, it will always be by the 12 te tempered intervals, but we'll hear the just scale starting on the key that we modulated to. So this is why we have the morph macro above the transpose macro, because it's morphing to the scale to one of the just versions of 12 tet that we have in the scale list. And if we want to change which scale we're morphing to, we can just click in the morph column in the scale list here. So let's see this in action again. At the moment, I have the mod wheel set to maximum and I'm in the key of C. So if I play a C major chord, you're going to hear just C major chord, just like this. Then if I move the mod wheel down, you will hear it move towards a 12 uh, te tempered major chord. And now with the mod wheel at minimum, we are completely in 12 tet. So if I play a C, then an E flat, and modulate to E flat. We hear that even though we've modulated E flat, the pitch of the E flat hasn't changed. But if I move the mod wheel all the way to the top again so that we're playing in just intonation and I play an E flat major chord, now you hear a just E flat major. So we have included a second version of this preset we've been using. It's the Adaptive JI full keyboard one here. It's virtually the same apart from the MIDI settings for the transpose macro, which has now been set to use the full keyboard range from C minus two all the way up to G8. And also this use lowest played note option has been checked. This means that with MIDI data rooted into MTS ESP Master, when I play a chord, the lowest note of that chord will set the key that we transpose to. Um, one crucial thing here is on the setup page to make sure filter control notes is set to off because otherwise the whole keyboard range will be filtered out from the internal synth and from any MTS ESP clients as well. So now, with the mod wheel fully up, I can play any major chord, for example, and we will hear a just major chord. So in this video, I've been using the example of 12 tech because it provides a familiar reference point for understanding what is going on. But the adaptive tuning setup that we have here will work with any scales that you load into MTS ESP Master. And to show this, I've now loaded in a six tet scale or a whole tone scale, if you like. And once again, I'm using the full keyboard range to um, control the transpose macro and the use lowest plate note option is selected. So whichever is the lowest note I play, that will be the key that I modulate to. The second scale that I've loaded plays harmonics two up to seven. So it will play a harmonic major seventh chord, if you like, when I hold consecutive notes. So when I play just single notes going up the keyboard, you can hear a whole tone scale. But when I play consecutive notes going up the keyboard and hold them down, you will hear a harmonic major seventh chord. Now, if I move one key up and start from there, 
you'll hear the root note move up by a whole tone, but you will still hear a harmonic major seventh chord, but now starting on the note, the whole tone up. And so on as I go up the keyboard. A couple of tips if you are going to try this adaptive tuning setup with any scales you like. Um, first, you may find it works best if you have scales that have the same number of steps. And you can see here, both of these scales have six steps. But if you want to use scales that have different number of steps, it might be a good idea to make the morph scale be the one that has the larger number of steps. Then for the scale morph macro, you can set the morph mode to nearest. And this will modify the intervals in the original scale so that they morph to those that are nearest them in the morph scale. Um, one further thing that may help is that this macro setup here has been added as a macro preset. So click the file button in the macro list and you can find the adaptive tuning either using the lowest octave or using the full keyboard examples here. I'm going to come back to the 12 tet example quickly to show something else. And that is that you don't need to use specifically a scale morph macro before the transpose macro to do adaptive tuning. Um, we could use any other macro type or multiple macros so long as the scale intervals are somehow altered by them. Um, with the 12 tet example, a good candidate might be the snap to ratio macro. With these settings, as I move the mod wheel up, it will move the scale intervals towards just intonation ratios with a prime limit of seven, and they will be no more than 50 cents away from the 12 tet intervals. So when I move the mod wheel up, you can see the scale intervals moving. And then when I play a C major chord, you'll hear a just C major chord. Of course, you can go completely crazy with this if you like. Um, we can completely randomize the scale intervals as here. But when we modulate, it will always be by 12 tet intervals. So that's it for how to set up adaptive tuning. I hope you can go and have some fun with this, but if there's anything you didn't understand or any further questions, pop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching.